Hey everybody, welcome to Noon Prayer. It's Pastor Kevin and Pastor Hugh. Hey. Hey, hey, we're excited to be with you and just pray with you. During this noon hour, we normally have noon prayer on Wednesdays, so we're looking forward to the time we can get back together and actually do this face to face. But until then, let's be praying together. And so Pastor Hugh, would you give us give us some encouragement? You're, you're so good at this. You're the master encourager, so. Well, that's, uh, that's because I think God is the greatest encourager. And uh, <clears throat> one of the things that I think we need to do during this, this season of stress and pressure, in fact, if you're not feeling any stress and pressure, check your pulse. <laughs> That's yeah, right. uh, if you're human, you're feeling the stress and pressure. But remember this, God is the source of encouragement. And so ask God, in your praying, ask God uh, to strengthen you, encourage you, as you worship and pray, you'll find that as you receive encouragement, you can begin to encourage others. And that's what we want to do as believers. We want to encourage one another in the Lord. The scripture says, do it daily. Mm -hmm. Encourage one another daily. Well, especially now, we can see how important that is. Well, so let me give you a, a, a challenge. Um, Jesus says in Hebrews, uh, the, Jesus is quoted and he says, I will never leave you or forsake you. Mm. And then David echoes this encouragement. He said, this I know, God is for me. And so as you uh, join us for prayer and as we begin to pray for some of these things, uh, stir yourself up with encouragement. God is for you. God is with you. God is hearing us. So good. Well, we, uh, I mentioned this on Sunday that we have joined together with uh, about seven other churches here in our community together to pray very specifically towards some prayer points. So over the next four weeks, Pastor Hugh, we're going we're gonna to have an emphasis each week. And on the 15th of March, we, we kicked this off and mm. it, was, it, was a cool, it was cool just to connect with other leaders and people in other churches and just say, how do we pray together towards what God wants to do in our community to see it transformed and changed and see salvation spring up? Wow. And, and I think Absolutely. this was before uh, the coronavirus hit heavy here. And I mean, it really hasn't hit heavy here, but, no. but uh, we're blessed that way. But yeah. it's, it is all around the world. So we, we got plenty of things to pray for. But the prayer point that we want to focus on today is the whole family. We just want to pray into families, everything to do with Absolutely. families. So we're just going to take the next 10 minutes or so and just pray with you. And if you join us, that would be so good. So, Pastor, why don't you kick us off with just praying into families? Is there anything you want to say towards family? Well, I, I think it's families are all about relationships. And uh, we know that the things that are important in relationships, communication, expressing love to one another, uh, actually having that spirit of encouragement mm. uh, when, you're, uh, when you're going through difficulties. And I know that uh, especially when everybody's staying home, right. there might be a little more pressure on that. <laughs> and what you want to do is see the positive, look for the upbuilding. So let's pray for, for God to strengthen and encourage those relationships now. Lord, in Jesus' name, mm. I pray for every relationship husbands and wives, parents and kids, uh, brothers, sisters, all of that, Lord. I know many are caring for their elderly. Lord, I pray for strengthening in those relationships. Lord, would you uh, help them communicate well, give them patience in their relationship, give them uh, demonstrations of love. God, we need you to strengthen our relationships as only you can, God, and work in us work in our hearts so that we will have authentic, loving relationships in the days that come. And God, I just, I just want to ask that that encouragement would flow. And I think one of the ways that, that happens is if we catch people doing things right. Mm. Um, and so would you help us as families across our community uh, to catch each other doing things right? 
Lord, it's really easy to see the faults and the things that aren't going well, but would you help us to see the things that are? And when we see it, would we speak that encouraging word as Pastor Hugh was talking about? Speak encouragement, speak life to each other, and build each other up that way, Lord, and to, to speak life and courage into each other. So, Lord, I'm asking that that as parents, we would see our kids doing yes. things right, and we would notice. we would point it out, we'd notice it, and we would say something like, good job, I loved how you picked up your room without being asked. Well, that's, would ask him for a miracle, but Lord, we, <laughs> we pray for some miracles like that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Lord, I just, I pray for husbands and wives, God, to, to be able to just take uh, the opportunity to speak life to each other, um, to, to notice those mm-hmm. things that maybe they, they just take for granted. It's just really easy to take each other for granted. So I pray we'd speak that kind of life into each other. I noticed the other day that there, there were so many young families out on the, uh, the walking path down by the river and mm. uh, playing together, doing things together. And actually this, this difficult time could be a positive time because we're investing in one another. We're, we're spending time, more time, with one another maybe than we usually would. Let those be opportunities for growth. Let those be opportunities for learning together. And so let's, let's pray for the parent-child relationship to grow. Lord, we pray for everyone that has kids. Yes. Lord, would you give them patience, yes. give them wisdom. Lord, keep, uh, help parents keep putting truth life-giving words into their kids, even speaking the Word of God to them. Uh, Lord, we pray that uh, the kids would grow. They'd enjoy this time of uh, extra time with their parents. Bless the marriages in River City and in this valley, Lord. Yes. We, we, Lord, we know that how your heart is broken with divorce. And we pray against that spirit of divorce, against that uh, divisive spirit in Jesus' name. Lord, unite people. Let this be a connecting, building time in Jesus' name. Hmm. Well, and God, we want to lift up those who are single in our community, those who are widowed, those who are uh, maybe just because of the situation, they can't get out the same. Uh, Lord, we... I just, I just want to pray for encouragement yeah. for them, God. Would you make yourself really known to every person who's alone right now uh, physically? And, uh, and Lord, we just, we just pray that you would wrap your arms around them. Lord, would you, would you just speak life to them, God? As they open the Word, the Bible, and read truth, I, I pray it would just bring a refreshing to their soul. Uh, Lord, it would revive joy. Uh, in them, Lord, as they hear your words and they let it just sink in deep. And, uh, and God, and I, and I pray that, that people would reach out to those that they know that might be single or alone right now, or maybe uh, just mm-hmm. especially right. are homebound. Uh, Lord, would you really encourage them to, to reach out? And so we're, we're praying, uh, God, for the, the spiritual family, the, the, the church family, right. uh, to really knit hearts even over technology, God, uh, okay. thank you for technology that we can do this. We can even do this today, uh, pray online together, and and Lord, what a beautiful thing. So I pray, Lord, we really don't have any excuse not to, but because of the situation we're in, Lord, the awareness of the availability and the ease of of connection actually is pretty incredible. So, Lord, we're, I'm, I'm longing for the opportunity to get back together face-to-face. Right. Lord, um, I'm an extrovert, and I will, I'm, I'm missing it. Lord, I'm a hugger. I'm it missing is. it, Lord. So we just, we just pray you give everybody um, a real embrace today. Let them really feel your presence today. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, my heart goes out, especially to the bones that have been through the pain of divorce. We want to, uh, Lord, you love them. Uh, yes. You might hate divorce because it's because of how it hurts so many. And Lord, we pray for comfort for those that have been experienced divorce. Almost every one of us, some way, have been touched uh, by divorce. Uh, family, friends, ourselves. Lord, come alongside those that are walking through those heartbreaking, difficult times. Lord, help the kids not uh, take it on themselves. That they're to blame. That, uh, Lord, we pray for your spirit to come and comfort those that are wounded and hurting 
and help them walk through this. And Lord, if it's possible, let a miracle happen and let restoration occur. You are the God that sees impossible yeah. as possible. Lord, let, let, let miracles happen in relationship, we pray, hmm. in Jesus' name. Hmm. So, Pastor Hugh, what, do you, what would be kind of a final encouragement for, for today's prayer time? Because we want people to keep praying beyond uh, this, this little broadcast here, but mm -hmm. what, what can you leave? What's a good nugget that you've been pondering and thinking about that you well, can leave them with? For me, it's the power of your words. Mm. And of course, we're not seeing each other very much except in small, very small groups. But text is powerful. Mm. A phone call. It's, there's something about hearing your voice that really, really touches people. Mm. So take the time to call those you love, call family, mm. call friends. Mm. Do it more than you would normally. And you will be amazed at, at the effect on family and friends mm. as you reach out to them. Words are powerful, mm. absolutely powerful. Speak words of life and encouragement. And be careful, don't just rehearse the negative. <laughs> rehearse hope. Speak hope. That'll make all the difference in the world. I was, I was thinking along with that, it ties right in, is uh, John Maxwell has what he calls the elevator principle. And uh, he says, if every day you, you see yourself as an elevator operator, you're on the elevator, people get on your elevator, you have an option. Do you want to take them up or do you want to take them down? And our words are key to that, oh, right? Absolutely. Either we can take people up or take people <laughs> down with our buttons, words. It's the buttons we push. <laughs> That's right. So, so let's just wrap this up. I'll just pray us, pray us out for today. Lord we, Lord, we thank you for all those who are tuning in. And would you stir us to pray for the families uh, to pray for our own families, to pray for those families in our neighborhood, to pray, uh, Lord, for our church families, yes, for our community. We just pray it would ripple out, God, as we think about the fact that you created family. Yes. It was your design. And, uh, and Lord, we just ask for greater health, greater communication, right. greater awareness. Let encouragement flow today as we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Pastor Hugh. Yeah.